to the second video on the A channel tally interface. Um, this time I'm just going to be demonstrating the um, um, the macro functions that are optionally available. Um, so you can use the box as a just a tally box, or you can um, use it um, to con to view your tallies and to control your tally uh, your macros. Now on this box here, this is the original tally box that I showed you in that last video. It's got the got the um, the eight tally pins on the back there. Um, you can uh, also get the optional relays with it, where you've got the um, relay pins, the changeover pins. Um, there's eight of them there, and you've got eight um, LEDs showing you um, the actual status. This box has got um, four uh, macro buttons on it, but you can also get this with the 16, the same layout as is that box there. The um, this is the same. Uh, tally box with just four macros so they're a cheaper price and um, that's the original tally box that I showed in the last video and that's just the same box but with the optional four uh, macro buttons and with the box I've got here we have um, 16 macro buttons available with um, eight on uh, normal pressing and then using the shift button you get another eight so that gives you 16 macros and those macros are all available on um, within the ATEM and then as again it's available with within the ATEM and uh, ATEM Mini and any other ATEM model so they all have the same macro function functionality I have in here you can see here I've actually pre-programmed 20 macros to do um, different functions you can see some of them here I've got which are just specific to um, um, to the ATEM Mini, but um, I'm I mainly use this in house with my um, my big my larger ATEMs. Um, it's just an added bonus that it works well with the ATEM Mini. So um, within with the um, the unit, um, you can pre-program all available macro functions, and you can pre-program it on an optional. Um, display which plugs into the side, plugs plugs in there, and you can go into the um, into the settings, and um, but you can also pre-program them using a um, internet, uh, sorry, a Ethernet connection. So if we just go over to here, you'll see there's um, you can see I'm used just using Party with an IP address, um, the IP address of the box. And um, I can go into uh, configuration mode. Oh, I've got to reconnect. Um, as you can see, um, uh, as you saw in the last video, I, I had this configuration mode where you can go through and, and set uh, the IP addresses and the tally allocation. So all eight tallies can be allocated to any program, any preview, and any OX bus. Um, so you can use it as an OX tally. Um, Displayer as well, but this also has the ability to um, that's it, that selects the aux bus. Um, but this allows you to um, change uh, all the macro functions of those buttons to any of the first 20 available on on the ATEM. And as you can see here, I've got all 20 um, macros all programmed. But as you, you can, the, the macros on the ATEM, I think you can have up to 100 or even more. Um, but you can see here, I've just got them programmed, and I can just change. Uh, these are the these are the 16 buttons. You can see I'm just going through each one. Um, so up to button 16. So every one of those buttons are pre-programmed. You can see some here. Um, these are cuts. Cut. So you can just do straight cuts. So if you've got an ATEM that doesn't have a control panel, you can actually use this to um, cut your cameras. You can see uh, button 7 turns on the DSK, well it actually toggles the DSK on and off. Um, and then these are these are animations, DVE animations that are made that I'll show you in a moment. And um, and there, that's all the, that's all the, um, the 16. So we'll just come out of there. You can actually, um, you can actually see the, um, the macro allocations uh, just by pressing M. And you can see there's the 20 macros that the ATEM has pre-programmed. You can see these are what uh, the buttons do. So you can see 
for instance, um, cut to camera 1 is on button 9, cut to camera 2, button 10, and then 11, 12, 3 and 4. And, and on, um, on those, you can see um, these are shift buttons, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I've got these programmed to cut to camera 1, 2, 3 and 4 by holding down shift and then pressing those first four buttons. Um, I also have um, this program on here. Let's just go back to here again. You can see um, buttons 13, 14, 15 and 16 uh, are programmed to dissolve to camera 1, 2, 3 and 4 and um, that, um, that again are the shift buttons down here. So at any time I can just hit shift and um, dissolve to, you know, from whatever source I'm on to cameras 1, 2, 3 and 4 as you can see, cut there. Um, and just going back over here again you'll see um, I've got on buttons 1, 2, 3 and 4 I've got some anima DV animations DV animations so you can see I've got to zoom up and zoom back um, push out to the left, push out to the right slide in from the left slide and now all these animations are all pre-programmed in uh, I've typed, manually typed them in uh, in the XML for the macro for the um, currently loaded on the system so basically those macros are running with a single push of a button so um, I'm just going to show you a bit of that now just come back out to here so if I press um, just move my display down here so I can see it if I um, press button number one it should do a zoom up and there it is and that's that's a, um, a as I said a, a XML programmed um, zoom up with just entry frame entries, and then I can zoom it back. Um, so you can you can do and make any of those effects. So I can, for instance, I can bring it up, and then I can slide it out to the right, and I can um, slide it in from the left, and I can then slide it out to the left. So you can see I can program all those functions. You can see I've got button 7 I've got the DSK so there's the DSK coming on and um, uh, what's button 8 uh, let me have a look here button 8 um, oh output camera 1 so what you can do on the um, if we go over to the um, ATEM you probably see up here on the output uh, you, you've got all these um, where you can actually change. This is only on the ATEM Mini. You can cut directly to the camera or or program or preview or, or you can even go direct. Uh, although you can sometimes get a flash on that because it might not be synchronous. So if I... Um, let's come back out of here again. If I actually go... Um, if I want to cut directly to um, camera 1, um, I can then go... It's button 8. So if I hit button 8, um, oh, I'm on the wrong button. That's all right. Um, so, um, what was the other thing on? Oh, that's right. Uh, down here, um, the on the optional display, you can um, you can go in and you can say select monitor, and in monitor it'll show you what's on the program and preview row. And you can see there, I'm actually changing the program row and um, preview so that's just to, to keep monitoring um, you can also um, you can also go um, hang on I'm just change this back to program output so there's program output so I can just go back to camera one and um, and um, and as you can see the dis display is updating uh, just remember all along uh, these um, tally lights as you can see down here I've, these are just a, a little experimental tally light you won't, you won't see obviously when I cut them away but if I cut my preview row because uh, I've got this currently programmed to camera 1, 2, two 3, 4 program and camera 1, 2, 3, 4 preview so as I cut the preview row for instance you'll see there the lights changing and that's just a, a little display that's plugged into the the little nine pin connector over here um, anyhow that that's just a side so when we're over here in the menu um, on the display I'm just going to zoom this up a bit <laughs> so many remotes here I'm just gonna zoom this up a bit so you can just get a bit of a better look at what's going on um, 
you can see that um, I can change diff different settings in here I can go into configuration uh, I can ch change the local IPs the ATEM IP you can um, set the tally allocations uh, you can set the um, which ox bus you're going to use tallies from and you can also see down here you can you can set the um, macro buttons to program so you can see these are these are all um, 16 macro buttons and then you can then um, change them um, to um, you can see there's a little indicator here saying it's in ready ready to change so I can actually um, change this to um, whatever I want and then that will then become that function for that macro button um, what um, what uh, you can also do down here which is very tricky if you've only got like a four button macro controller you can um, you can actually change the macros down here so you can see here on on macro I can I can now go in and this will trigger the macros so I can go and select any macro I want and then so let's go to DSK for instance uh, which is down here somewhere the DSK and if I hit press set it'll it'll trigger that macro and um, there it is and then of course it's a toggle so I can toggle it off as well so that's that's you can actually do that without having any buttons at all so if you've just got the um, the basic oh, I'm not zoomed out enough if you, you've just got the basic um, tally unit and you've got the display you can trigger all um, uh, 20 macros um, using the display so you don't need any buttons at all but you know people love buttons and um, that's why you know for the for the, the, short, the extra cost of putting the buttons on I, I'd advise it um, I'm going to wrap this up now because I've only got a short period of time to do this um, but um, just read the the notes with that are with the um, um, read the notes that are uh, with the uh, this video and you um, will um, uh, get links to um, uh, more information and, and how to buy a, buy a unit and and the prices and all sort of stuff so um, thank you for watching